Your doctors are depending on a special band of unsung heroes to help them treat your cancer. At LLS, we call these heroes the Extraordinary League of Blood Cancer Tests. Today, we'll meet a little test with a big name, fluorescence in situ hybridization, which is also known as FISH. If you're asked to have a FISH test, you may have questions like, why did my doctor order it, and what exactly is it, and what can I expect? So let's start with the first one. Why did your doctor order it? Well, it has to do with your blood cells. See, all cells, including your blood cells, contain something called chromosomes. These chromosomes carry all the information cells need to grow, thrive, and reproduce. Now your doctors may need to know if you have any genetic abnormalities or changes in the chromosomes of your cancer cells. One of the best ways to figure this out is through fish testing. The doctor will remove some blood or bone marrow and then use fluorescent molecules to make the chromosomes they want to look at light up. The results can help your doctors diagnose disease, monitor your treatment, and determine the best treatment approach. If the doctor only needs a blood sample for your fish procedure, it's all pretty simple. It usually happens in one of two ways. In the first, a nurse or clinician inserts a needle into a vein, usually in the fold of your arm, to remove a small amount of blood. The nurse may also do a finger prick. However, your doctors may need a sample of your bone marrow, which is the spongy tissue in the center of most bones that produces blood cells. Now, there are several other tests where the doctors might need your bone marrow. The good news? Your doctor can do all of these tests from a single sample. The doctor will clean the site near your hip bone and apply some local anesthetic with two injections, first to the skin and then to the bone surface itself. You may also receive a light sedation medication. At that point, they may either perform an aspiration, which removes the liquid part of the bone marrow, or they may remove a very small amount of the bone itself. Often, they'll take both kinds of samples at once. Once the anesthesia wears off, you'll be able to go home. Be aware, some patients may experience bleeding and slight bone pain that may last for a few days. Fortunately, the results are incredibly valuable. Fish can provide doctors with more information than they can obtain from looking at single cells under a microscope. After treatment begins, this test can be used to measure treatment response and monitor for residual disease. So fear not. The FISH test and the Extraordinary League of Blood Cancer Tests will always be there to bravely light the way on your journey towards recovery.